Hi guys, so after Sunday night's live stream, which was really, really fun, I really enjoyed that, talking to you guys, you guys have now decided to see the What's In My Bag video, so here it is. So the other day I got asked, what's in my bag? And I thought, do you know what? I, I don't even know what's in my bag. There's tons of crap in there. So it's actually quite good actually to set it all out and what do I actually need to carry with me for a landscape shoot? Because sometimes when I'm hiking, I, f I do feel like a camel carrying all this crap in my bag. You get one bag, you know it's never the right bag. Then you have to buy another bag. Then you see another bag and then you buy another bag. Cur I'm currently using the Mindshift First Flight 40 litre bag. I got it in Singapore last year. Finding it pretty good at the minute. It's a really very strong bag. Got three different bodies. I've got the Fujifilm GFX, the Fujifilm X-T2 and the Sony A7R2. They all serve to me a different purpose. So let's cut to what's inside the bag. So this would be what I would take with me on any given day if I was going out. If I was doing a photo shoot in a studio, the kit would be, would be completely different. So this would be my basic kit that I'd be taking out for a landscape photo shoot on any given day. The lenses would, lenses would vary as well. I've got the Sony F4 70-200. I did have the G Master 70-200, but it was massive. The 2.8 was huge, so I got rid of that and went for the F4. It's a lot lighter, a lot easier just chucking the bag for doing landscape photography. Great lens. The 50-140 to 2.8 Fujifilm, it's a great lens. Um, this one is a, I think this is 35mm 1.4 Fujifilm. I've just recently sold a few Sony lenses. I did have the 90mm macro, 2.8 macro lens. Here I've got the carry speed strap. So when I was in Singapore, I got these, if you can see that. These are quarter inch thread um, bolts that screw onto anything with a quarter inch thread. You then, if you want to hang anything off your neck on the strap, so I can put my light meter on this. This is a little ball head that clips into the actual carry speed head. Um, and then you can literally have a camera on there or your, your light meter, anything that takes a quarter inch thread that you want to hang, hang off your side, you can just screw these in. And these are 15 Singapore dollars, I think. Can't get these in the UK. I couldn't find these in the UK, so I, I bought quite a few of them. To the left of them, I've got this really right stuff, mini tripod. This can hold, I've had the GFX on it and it's been fine. Uh, also, it can easily take the X-T2 and the Sony. This is a very, very strong, very, very strong little miniature tripod that I just take with me. It's so light, I mean, it doesn't weigh hardly anything, so I just chuck it in my bag and it's always there. Uh, coming to the right of that, we've got the Sony A7R2 with a really right stuff L bracket. Really, really well designed. It's got the uh, battery door built into the actual L bracket, which is really cool. So that's pretty handy. Love the Sony A7R2. I've got the Fujifilm GFX with the 32 to 64 f4 coming down left i've got the fujifilm xt2 with a uh, 23 mil f2 lens on the front okay so to the right of that we have a color checker passport that's the x right uh, it doesn't weigh anything i always just chuck it in my bag just to get color balance and, and white balance just take a picture before you even start taking your landscape shot just take a picture of the color checker and then when you get back to lightroom you've got a reference for color uh, here we have a selection of Lee stuff, so this is the foundation kit. Uh, in there we've got the, what is it, the mist kit. So in here we have the mist kit. I do actually need to get another bag for this. So this is the Lee filters mist kit set. And then, then we've got a selection of different filters. So this is the Lee filter pouch. And in here I've just got all my different filters, soft grads, uh, hard grads, medium grads in there. So that stays there all the time. And to the right of that, we've got a carbon fiber Nova tripod. I recently just got that. It's, it's a three section tripod with spikes on the end. Just chuck it in your bag and you're, you're good to go. To the left of that, we've got the uh, 140 mil nodal slider, which I use for doing my panos. So I'm always, I've always got that in my bag. To the left of that, we've got the Sukonic 758DR light meter. Always, always, always got that in my bag. Doesn't weigh anything really. Um, to the left of that, we've got a Lee 10 stop ND filter. So underneath that, we've got the 15 stop super stopper from Lee. That is a, I think it's 7,200 milliamp uh, USB charger thing. And it kicks out 8.4 volts and five volts. So that's really, really handy. I've always got that in my bag because things are always dying. 
Uh, just got a little blower there, just for cleaning up the lens and whatnot, a little rocket, rocket blower. So that's pretty much it guys. I mean, this is my basic photography kit. I've got a, a separate kit that I take for doing off the studio work. So that's it for today guys. I hope you enjoyed seeing what I use. I did used to have, I did used to have a lot more lenses, but I found, I think as you, as you grow and get older, you realize you don't need that many lenses. So I've literally only got 35 mil, one four, the 23 is my go-to F2. I've always, I'm always, always using that. The Sony has always got the 70 to 200 on it. I did have a, a number of different Sony lenses. And also I've only just got the GFX with the 32 to 64. So I'm more of a, I'd rather just move and, and take one lens with me and just work, work it out instead of having a bag full of lenses. When I was younger, I used to have a lot more lenses. I used to have lenses everywhere. But this is, this doesn't look like a lot of stuff. I mean, it isn't a lot of stuff really, but you're able to, I'm able to get you know, got my colour balance, all my colours sorted and my white balance, that's sorted. I've got power. I've got my filters. There's a must have, have to have my filters because I want to get it right in camera. I've always got my light meter with me. I've always got that with me for doing my, um, for doing my panos. I've always got that with me. A tripod, that's all I really need. So I'm covered. I can get really low down with this little baby tripod if I really want to get some low shots. And I've obviously, that goes up to about 1.5, 1.4 metres high. So I'm covered. Whereas when I was younger, I used to bring everything with me. I'd bring two tripods, you know, a, a selection of different lenses. But I've scaled. I think as you get older, you scale right. You need. You you realise you don't need all of the gear. The gear. That this gear doesn't define me. I just bring what I need for where I'm going for a landscape shot. So yes, yeah, so I've even got these. These are uh, timber bags. These are absolutely fantastic bags. Um, they're great insert bags. So so everyone knows how hard it is to for. We all like bags, but this is where I've got my drone. So I've got my DJI Mavic Pro in there. He just lives in there in this little timber bag. This is the number nine version, I believe. So if you wanted to me, if you wanted me to do a video on my video gear and what I take to create all my videos, it's got a couple of batteries in there in the mesh pockets. If you wanted to see what I bring for a studio shoot, different strobes that I use, tethering cables, software, that kind of stuff, um, even like different stabilizers and stuff I use for my vlogs then let me know in the description below and I will create a separate video for that in the future. Thanks very much guys, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.